Hey there, it's Mark Spencer from Ripple Training. We're talking about Titlemations. I'm here in the Title Inspector. I have Ripple Titlemations selected. And this video is about the Title Blocks theme that includes these five templates. I've put three of them in a timeline because Block Down and Block Up work pretty much the same way. And Block Left and Block Right work pretty much the same way. So the first one I want to look at is All Fly In. By default, it looks like this. And it's called Offly In because the text moves with the block. I'll step through it so you can see that the text moves in with a block. This is probably the simplest title here. If you want to change its location, you click on the on-screen control and drag it wherever you want. Doing so is the same as going to the title inspector and dragging on these position fields. You could use these, for example, after it flies in to apply some drift to it so it keeps moving by setting keyframes right here. Build in and build out checkboxes, determine whether it animates in or off the screen or not. And then you've got three speed choices for how it does so. The banner margin determines how big the block is around the text. Now this block automatically adjusts to any text. So if I change the text here, I'll double click it and press Command A. I'm hitting the return key to move down to the next line and escape. So it automatically adjusts and will always be a block, a rectangle shape. If you would rather have a different type of shape, I'll show you that in the next title here. Uh, back in the title inspector, you can of course change the banner color and the banner opacity. And then if you want to drop shadow, you can put a drop shadow on everything here and move that around. So pretty straightforward with how to use this first one, the all fly in template. This next template is block right that works very much like block left. As opposed to all fly in, the text is stationary here and the block flies in to reveal the text. This template also automatically adjusts to the size of the text as you can see here. I'm going to get rid of that. And in the title inspector, we have pretty much the exact same controls we did with all fly in. What I want to show you what you can do with this is how you can stack multiple versions of this to create a nice effect. What I'm showing you will work with all fly in as well. It works exactly the same way. So I have the first one coming in like that. And I want the next one to come in maybe a little bit afterwards. So I'll press Command-C to copy, Command-V to paste, trim the second one back, select the second one. And now I could move it down with the on-screen control. However, in order to be precise, I can go to the title inspector and use this Y control to move it straight down and choose whether or not I want a little gap there. Maybe I'll leave a little gap. And I'll change the text here. So it has a different length to it. What this allows you to do is either create a single block of text that has a stair step ending depending on what the text line does. So let's add one more. I'll go a little further in and press Command V, trim it back, select it, and use just the Y position to move it down precisely. If you hold the Option key while you're dragging, it will move more slowly. And this time, I'll change the text in the Text Inspector over here. And now we have three lines of text that we could bring in all together or bring them in separately very easily. So by stacking these in a stair-step pattern and using the Inspector to precisely control the position, you can build up a very nice set of animated titles. The block down template works almost exactly the same as the block up template. And here I have it applied to a clip in my timeline. It has four on-screen controls. This one right here allows you to move everything together as a unit. So I'll move it over here. And then I'm going to change the text. Double click it in Command A escape. And now I can use this on-screen control to change the position of the text within the box. I can use this on-screen control to move the entire box separately from the text. And this on-screen control to control how wide the box is. 
then I'll return to this one here and move the whole thing up. That's really everything that's unique about this one. All of these on-screen controls have parameters in the title inspector. Position all, the width of the banner, the position of the banner, and the position of the text. Just like the other ones, you can change the banner color, the banner opacity, and you also have the option here to change the roundness of the banner to give it some rounded edges. And you can go beyond the slider value by dragging directly in the value field. The rest of the parameters are pretty self-explanatory. With all of these titles, you may want to change the color of a word or multiple words to give it emphasis. What I'm going to do is with the title selected, I'll go to the text inspector and I'll select the word I want by double clicking on it and then go down to the face parameter and change the color. Now when this animates, we can see that word has a different color. If you want that color to animate on, we have a couple of custom templates for that down here at the bottom of the list of titles in the title color range theme. And I'll discuss how to use them in a separate video.